No matter how different you are, you are meant to be in this world and being different is unique and that is so special. Your purpose in life is out there and waiting for you. Hey everyone, welcome to Unmuted. Today I'm talking with Lizzie Velasquez, an anti-bullying advocate and motivational speaker who's using her platform to inspire others. I've been following your story and your social media for a while now, and I know that you live with a health condition. Can you tell us a little bit about it? I was diagnosed with neonatal prodroid syndrome. It's made up of two different conditions. One of them is lipodystrophy, and basically that just doesn't allow me to gain weight. The second part is Marfan's. The type that I have is very rare and it affects my eyes, my bones, and my heart. Despite being in a very small body, I live a very normal life. And you've talked about the bullying you received as a kid. When you were 17, a video labeling you the world's ugliest woman was circulated on YouTube. What was that like for you? I felt like growing up, I lived in two different worlds. At home, I was just Lizzie, and I looked like everybody else, and everyone treated me exactly the same. I was now entering this other world where I had to face the reality of, no, I do not look like everybody else. You asked me how I felt about bullying when I was in elementary and middle school. It was horrible and I hated it. And that was mostly because I hated myself at the time. Then I go to transition into high school and I'm at a point where I'm starting to accept myself. I can look in a mirror and appreciate and have gratitude for the reflection that's looking back at me. And then to just see a video that says the world's ugliest woman, it felt like within two seconds, everything that I had worked for up until that point was just sort of knocked over. Little did I know that that moment was going to be such a defining one in my life. You are the one that decides what defines you. I use their negativity to light my fire to keep going. It did sort of activate you, right? Because mm -hmm. now you are this very prominent, outspoken, anti-bullying advocate. How do you continue to nurture your own confidence and self-love? For so long, I think once I started growing my platform, I felt like I could only post positive stuff. There are many times where I would be typing and I would be crying with quarantine and being at home. The more I scrolled, the lonelier I felt when I start feeling like I'm falling down the rabbit hole of comparison, I had to learn that I'm not a superhuman. I'm just a human. I did see a post where you were talking about having FOMO sometimes when you see people posting about relationships or dating. How do you navigate something like dating? It's very hard. I have this medical condition that forever has been in the back of my mind that I have to automatically say, don't worry, I don't have an eating disorder. Or, like I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have to automatically go in defense mode. My life is very public. So to hear someone say, Say like, oh, well, you have too many eyes on you all the time or whatever. I just, I have to keep that in mind. So that's a little hard, but it's just, it's complicated. I will sit there and I will scroll for hours and I will look at everyone's engagement photos, gender reveals and all of these big life moments and feel horrible about myself. I have to put it down and know that it doesn't mean we should stop clapping and celebrating for those other people because our moment is next. Mm -hmm.